three-year-old Justin and nine-year-old Jaheem Terry were in front of Belizean Chinese fast food restaurant on Cemetery Road across from Constitution Park when a van ended up on the sidewalk and ran over the children, killing baby Justin instantly. Stunned onlookers stood by as baby Justin laid lifeless on the sidewalk and his brother injured to the left ankle. Their mother, Keisha Terry, was at work when she was notified of the tragedy. We live in Hattieville, but my mom helped me out with them because they like the traveling, me too hectic with three kids because I have a nine year old, a three year old, and a one year old. So she just told me, just to make them come, keep her company, make them go up the fair two, three days, and I send them. But every day my kids go home with me. I live in Hattieville. My kids live with me and then dad in Hattieville. So they normally wait for me at the bus station. We catch our bus and we go home together. My kids never destroy about. I may feel more at ease than my baby. I can't come out, not now, if I bring her back. If they may tell me my baby, they may run well, out on the street. But my baby, they may depend on the side. Wow. And this reckless driver just come out of nowhere and knock my baby then. Don't you come be my two baby then? The small one, the, the, the back wheel of the van run over his head. And that is where, you know, the bus open is his skull. The nine-year-old, just tell me a little bit about, more about him. Is he telling you guys anything as to what happened? Honestly, he just could recall, because after he back my turn, the way how the vehicle made it come, he just said, Mama, I hold my liberal hand tight, tight, I'm in the holy hand, and the vehicle just back away, and he still, he actually described that he still had a hand hold, even though, the, and he just said, bar, 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 Please help her, you know why Libra are dead. Please help her, help her, help and her. And he got hurt as well, right? Yeah, he broke, back his foot broke. The fatal incident happened around 3.30 p.m. on Wednesday as many commuters, mainly school children, waited for bus to get home. Many persons who witnessed the traumatic ordeal were angered by what had happened and condemned the driver of the white Ford Triton van, 36-year-old Hubert Martinez. According to one witness, after hitting the children, the van also knocked down a sign before coming to a stop. I saw this white van come in and a vehicle, a coke truck was there that slowed down because of the hole and he overtake and he couldn't make it so he decided to came up on the sidewalk because he couldn't make the pass. And when he came up, the, the two little students, they were walking on the sidewalk and he ran over them, no? And then um, he continued to drive through, making his way past this, this bush tent, shed. bus shed, hit down the sign, take down the sign with, along with him. And afterwards, me and the other taxi guy that run out here, work out here, run, run and stop him and told him that he, he killed this little guy on the, on the sidewalk.